Hi friends and welcome back to my channel my name is Tiffany and in today's video we are going to be tackling this closet right outside of my kitchen this is a bonus closet we use it for pretty much everything it houses our printer it houses all of our cleaning supplies as well as all of our medicine and everything so lots and lots of very important things in this closet and as you can see once upon a time it was organized and it's just kind of gotten away from us so we're going to put it back together today get a good system going again and get it all functioning because this has turned into quite the monica closet let's get started So as I mentioned, I did once upon a time have this closet organized and I'll try to find that video to link for you. It was back in a Sunday reset a long time ago, kind of when we first moved in. Um, and I use this closet all the time. It is just a great place to keep extra items. This is um, on top of the stairs to our basement. If you look to the right there, our basement door was cracked open. Our kitty cats like to go down there. So I did have the door cracked open. There's one of our kitty cats now. That's Luna. She likes to hang out with me in a lot of my videos. Um, but this little closet is just a bonus closet that our builder added for us to go, you know, fill in this space on top of the stairs and it's just perfect. It's a great spot for extra items. Originally, we thought we were going to hang our Dyson or cordless vacuum in here and then they put in shelves so that kind of went away but you know what it actually works out perfectly fine and I'm actually really happy with this because instead we used that plug for our printer and we keep our printer in here um, it is a wi-fi printer and so you know all of our printers or all of our computers can print to it and it's just put away and I don't have to have it in the guest room so it actually works out perfectly and we ended up hanging up our cordless vacuum in our guest room so this worked out and you know we're really happy with it it does have quite a slant on the bottom because of the stairs but we make it work so here's a look at all of the items that I've pulled out of the one medicine shelf um, there's a lot of items here but we are a big family there are seven of us and you know I have purchased a lot of stuff along the way Here's a look at the items I've picked up for us to organize with today. There are a couple in here that we don't end up using, but for the most part, we're gonna use all of this and I'll tell you where everything is from as we go. I'm starting off here with our nebulizer. If you're not familiar with nebulizer, this is a breathing treatment machine. It's something you use if you have asthma or if you get really sick and you need to have albuterol treatments. Um, it's the same you know, that you would get in the hospital or at a doctor's office. And uh, my son Griffin and I both have pretty severe asthma. And that fun fact, that nebulizer is as old as my oldest child. So it's 16 years old. I got it when my daughter was three weeks old. She had really terrible RSV and was hospitalized for a week and a half. And uh, that nebulizer is the one that we got when we went home from the hospital so it's been with us forever we use it all the time and that gray basket that i was using was from the dollar tree this white basket here is from walmart and this has other medicine in it it has the ampules for our nebulizer as well as griffin's um, inhaler so i decided just to kind of put all of those things together in that basket where the nebulizer is just to keep track of everything so i'm pulling that out and putting all of the items that have to do with breathing back in this basket that way it's just easy to grab this take it out use a nebulizer put it back 
Next up, I'm gonna tackle this plastic drawer system that I have here. This is so old, you guys. I think that when I was in high school, I used to keep like crafting supplies in this and then it just turned into, you know, this medicine holder and we've always had it in the closet. And it's not really functional anymore. It's just, it it's too small for what we have. And it's a little bit awkward and clunky in this um, closet. So so I did decide to take everything out. I was considering whether or not I was going to use it, but I did take everything out and I did end up giving it to Danny. He's now using it for nuts and bolts and such in the garage. It's still a nice little organizer. It just wasn't really working for what I needed it to do anymore. So we're going to do some better organization. I've also got like our dog's toothbrush in here and nail clippers and you know, Neosporin and eczema cream, like you name it. We've got so much stuff. So I have these clear acrylic drawers that I picked up on Amazon. I actually use these in um, the pantry where I keep like all of my uh, scented waxes and such. So I used one to put all of our band-aids in and the other one I'm going to use for ointments and such. So we've got some bandage items there, gauze, um, I've got all of like the uh, Neosporin and all of the ointments that we use go in that bottom drawer there that seemed like it was perfect to have those close together. Next up we're going to work on this other large plastic bin that I have. I think I picked this one up at Home Goods um, a long time ago but I see them there all the time. They have really great prices on this stuff and in here is just like a bunch of extra kind of medicines, ointments, um, off spray, that kind of stuff. I've got uh, some poison ivy cream in here, burn relief cream, uh, menstrual relief, Imodium, you name it. <laughs> it's all in here. And again, you know, when you're a family of seven, like you just kind of accumulate these things and watch your expiration dates. Luckily, I had already checked all of this stuff, so nothing was expired yet. If you do run across expired medication, Google how to um, dispose of that. You don't want to just toss it. You might have to do something special with it. So check that out. Um, but I also have like our Vicks Vapor Rub and all of that good stuff in here. So I'm putting a lot of it back in. I'm just trying to organize it a little bit better. And anything that was expired that we didn't need anymore or that was mostly gone, I did end up getting rid of. But this is a nice little container just to kind of put away. And then this other container here, I did decide to put like the kid medicine as well as some easy to reach items like fever reducers and those types of things along with the thermometer and I also added some cough drops and some um, cough suppressant like Dayquil uh, pills and liquid that's kind of like the cold box but I do end up moving things around a little bit once I get inside so I'm starting off with this water hyacinth basket I picked up at Target. I love it. It's nice and short so you can see what's inside. And I'm just going to use it like I did in my pantry to house these other two bins. Just kind of keep everything combined. It's just easier this way than having everything kind of alone in there where it can just kind of fall over. And then in this larger bright room box here, this is again from Target, it's $12. I love these boxes, they're excellent quality. And I'm just putting in here our rubbing alcohol and uh, peroxide as well as all, as our, all of our home tests there. Um, we got all of those from school, so we just kind of keep those in there for as needed. And then I've also got all of these braces, ace bandages, that kind of thing for when people hurt their hands or you know, sprain their ankle or something like that. We've got a ton of these. So just having these in here and kind of put to the back for future use. And then I'm gonna use that other basket from the Dollar Tree. This I'm gonna put all of our animal products in. So treats, brushes, medicine, that kind of thing all go in here. And we're gonna stick that in the back just easy containers for us to grab. And then I also am going to add in that Lazy Susan and our drawers. 
So now we're gonna work on the Lazy Susan. This one's really cool. It's actually from Amazon, and these triangles you can pull out individually. So my goal was to kind of create little sections. So there's one for fevers and pain, one for tummy issues. This one here is again for pain. It's got mi migraine medicine and Motrin. And then in this next section here, I've got uh, the Dayquil. So if you've got a little cold or cough, and then I'm also gonna add in the sore throat spray as well as some easy to grab cough drops if you need them. And this is gonna be really great for just grabbing a triangle if you need it, pulling it out and keeping things that we use the most, the most easily accessible. Now we're gonna move up a shelf to where I keep all of my cleaning supplies. And this section really was not too bad. I just wanted to clean it up and organize it a little bit better. And I also wanted to wipe down the shelf. So I had gotten some um, cleaning product on the shelf that had spilled, so I wanted to wipe that down. So I'm just taking everything out, moving it onto the island so I can go through it again. These shelves are super deep, so you can really fit a lot of stuff in here, which also means things can get lost in here. So I'm just making sure that I'm grabbing every little thing, and then I'm gonna just spray some multi-purpose spray here from Mrs. Myers. Give this a really good wipe. I'm using one of those microfiber cloths from Amazon. I talk about these in almost every video. They are fantastic. Like literally this had so many stains and I just scrubbed it away with these polishing cloths. I just think they do such a great job to finish off a space. All right, now we're gonna go through the cleaning supplies here. So a lot of this stuff is stuff that I don't use on the regular basis, but it's stuff that I wanna have, you know, so I can use later. So that big green bottle there is like window cleaner. Um, I've got like Easy Off and Lysol, that kind of stuff. Stuff I just don't use all the time. And I'm putting it into this bin, this clear bin, which is from TJ Maxx. And again, it just kind of keeps everything yeah, all together, you know what I mean? And easy to grab if I need it and contain. So that way if there's a spill or anything in the closet, hopefully it will all stay in there, you know, for the most part. Now I'm gonna add in some other bigger cleaning items like some carpet cleaner. And then on the other side here, again, this is another clear bin from TJ Maxx. And I'm adding in more carpet cleaner. That's our carpet refresher there. And then in this one, I'm just gonna put in products I use very regularly. So Ridex, I've got my Fresh Pet carpet refresher. Um, the method cleaner as well as some Lysol. <clears throat> we also have some Febreze. This is great for freshening up your furniture, especially right before you have guests come over. I've got the iron out there. That's what I use in my toilet along with the Clorox um, cleaner. It gets all of the rust stains out of my toilet from my hard water. That stuff is phenomenal. I use it in my shower. It's such a game changer. Now I'm just going to add in some of my Mrs. Meyer Snowdrop Scent Cleaner. These are my absolute favorite. I bought them up when I saw them and just have them kind of in wait, lying in wait. And also a cleaning head there for my electric scrub brush that I use in the bathroom. And that is just gonna get all that nice and contained as well. And then again, I'm gonna use another turntable. I'm putting this all back together pretty much the way I had it. Everybody uses it, knows where it goes. This turntable are the items that I use the most. So um, my stainless steel cleaner, you know, my, the, my leaf shine, my stovetop cleaner, my glass cleaner, and then my all-purpose spray um, is in the clear bottle that we're gonna fill now. So you don't have to do this. This is totally aesthetic. This is not you know, something that's necessary, but I like having my cleaner in this clear bottle. It's actually from Target. I got in the dollar section 100 years ago, but I see them all the time at Walmart in their section where you can find all of the um, laundry 
husbandry items. So like irons and ironing boards and that kind of stuff. You can find these bottles. They're really affordable. I think they're like less than $5. Um, and I just think the look is nice. I love the pump on it. It just sprays really well. And I always know what it is. And my kids all know what it is. So that's a perfect little turntable there of all of the items I use the most. And they're really easy to grab. Next up, we're gonna grab this uh, white basket here again from Walmart. And this is where I hold all of the nozzles for my vacuums. And I don't change them a ton, but I do regularly. So just having them here where they're easy to grab is perfect. And I put them in the front because it's just easier to grab them than trying to move everything from the turntable. And that brings us to our last shelf here, and that is this hot mess of a shelf where our printer is. This is kind of like a catch-all right now, like everything that we don't have a home for just kind of goes here. So I'm not gonna be taking the printer out today just because I don't need to wipe this down or remove that, like it's not going anywhere. It's gonna stay right where it is, so. I'm just moving everything out of there. It's a good shot of my roots that I just got done today, thank goodness. <laughs> but I'm just pulling everything else out and again, I'm going to try to contain the mess. So um, I'm gonna move the uh, printer over just a little bit and I'm gonna try to find a way to contain all of that paper mess and um, you know anything else that was in here that doesn't need to be in here like that green tote that was in here before um, i have another one of those water hyacinth baskets from target and i'm going to put all of our manuals in here these are the manuals for our washing machines and our robot vacuum all that stuff there's more of our manuals and information that we need um, you don't have to keep these i like to keep them because you know you never know if you're going to need them so just putting them in this basket kind of puts them away and i don't have to see them or think about them and you know they're not going to be like a dirty mess and then i decided to put our printer paper on top of it as well because i still felt like i didn't want to see all of that so i'm putting these in the water hyacinth basket as well i can just pull it out and grab them if i need it i did restock the printer i like to use 32 pound paper this is totally unnecessary i just really enjoy the feel of this paper so if i'm just printing out coloring sheets i'll put in you know a cheap piece of paper but if i'm printing out anything else for me like a recipe or you know a document that i need i love to use 32 pound paper so that's what i've got in there and then finally here in this top section which does go up higher but they put the shelf so high that it's really awkward um, so i decided to just put some extra paper towels up here i usually keep them in a bag on the floor but this seemed like an appropriate place to put them so i stuck a few rolls up there and i felt like that was a perfect spot here is a look at the final closet it is so <laughs> Good to have this like clean and organized again oh my goodness it was making me crazy I am in this closet multiple times a day I keep all of my cleaning products in here I don't grab them from under the sink or anything so having this back and organized has just been such a dream this needed to be done so badly and i was avoiding it so hard so thank you so much for joining me for today's video i hope you got some motivation to organize a space in your home that you've been ignoring and i would love to have you subscribe and come back for more i post new videos every sunday wednesday and friday and I'll try to have everything linked for you down below that I can. If there's something missing that you're looking for, please don't hesitate to let me know. Okay, my friends, I hope you have a fabulous week and I will see you very soon. Take care. <music>